So our topic this week is fitness. I mean, let's be real. I'm no nobody's peak of physical fitness, and I, I'm not. I'm not particularly invested in that. My dysphoria is not in the sense of a whole lot of agony. I am actually completely dislocated a lot of the time from my from my um, physical self. I don't really feel like my body and I have a relationship with each other. So that means that the kind of concepts of like fitness and training and all of that kind of thing is just a continual reminder that I have this body that I don't really want. So my ways around this are doing the things that make me feel good when I do them. Swimming actually helps me quite a lot. When I was 18, I got hit by a car and I broke my back. Like the upper portion of my back, kind of the bit between your shoulder blades. It means that I, I, it can ache a lot and I get really cr super crunchy. Um, and so swimming has actually been really good for that. But I had to work out kind of how to navigate that because I, I think that that it's that weird thing of like, I don't want to be wearing a swimming costume around anybody ever. And that's the last thing that I need in terms of feeling good about, about what I'm doing. I wear underworks. There's a swimming vest and shorts. So you're basically fully covered and there is a certain amount of, of compression that goes on. The biggest tip that I can give anybody, um, I have a waterproof mp3 player and that made the hugest difference between me sort of getting bored after about two lengths and being able to do like 40. I have a couple of really good 80s like rem and I think they last for like an hour, 45 minutes, an hour, something like that. Um, and when I first started I could do like half of one, now I'm, now I spend like I can do like an hour and a half in the pool and I'm totally happy. And and it helps my back and it helps my shoulders and it helps the whole kind of like crunchy crap. And it feels good to do it. And then, you know, and everything is, it's, it's just a case of tailoring it, I think, in order to look after you. And other than that, I walk and I'll do about five miles a day, four or five miles a day. Again, you know, headphones in. I'll do anything if I can do, if I can listen to music when I'm doing it. And in London, you walk. I actually this summer really want to get into cycling. We have a lot of, um, we call them Boris bikes. They're like the free bicycle bike hire things in London. And I feel like maybe I want to do some of that. And like, I don't know, cycle around the parks. I've kind of fought it, like like moving to, I feel like it's a little bit like moving to New York and riding a bike, like moving to London and getting a bike. I just don't want to cycle on the roads here because I've been hit by a car once. That wasn't fun, don't want to do that again. But I think that maybe cycling around the parks could be a fun way to sort of get more done. Recently, you know, I have kind of been like pushing for for better self-care. That's still something I'm working on. Um, and fitness for me is more of like a means to an end. Like I'm never gonna be like a super buff dude. And I don't particularly want to, be, I don't particularly have the energy or the inclination to do that. Certain limitations that I understand and that I'm comfortable with. Certainly in terms of like passing, it, upper body work is more significant than lower body work. But I think, I'm, typically I think I'm one of those people where I, I think you're either going to pass or you're not. An attempt to alter your muscle definition pre-T is 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 gonna be hit and miss depending on the body shape that you have. And it is, and it's biology, and it's unfair. And I mean, like, we get how unfair biology is in this, in this case. There's no real way around it. So I think it's probably more important to be careful and to do something that you enjoy and to have fun with it. And, and like I said, for me, it's the opportunity to build a relationship with my body that I've never... I've never really had um, and so I, that's 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 the route I'm going with it I think this summer's going to be a summer of change and I'm super interested actually because obviously like when I start on tea I'm really interested to see what happens in terms of muscles and change and shape and all of that like that's going to be pretty exciting so yeah so that's it this is that's my week swimming and walking that's my bag I'll put in some links for things, um, for the things that I have, just in case anybody's interested in like finding them or buying them. And I mean, if anyone has any suggestions of stuff that they've used or really like, I would love if you would if you would send that my way. Um, and yeah, like, subscribe, all of my stuff's down there. Come say hi. It's been really awesome to get to kind of know and talk to people um, and feel a little bit like I'm not just screaming out into a void. So. Uh, I hope you all have a fantastic week and I will talk to you next week.